on top of the stars. From Port Orange, Florida, please welcome Rod Perry. We live for moments like this. We come alive in moments like this. Rod is competitive, but he, he doesn't get emotional about it. I call him like the silent assassin. Playing against him, he's one of the first names that I look at to kind of compare. In moments like this. From an area known for its stock cars and 500 mile sprints, Rod Perry's Season of Glory featured a marathon campaign from sea to shining sea. Along the way, the humble lefty from Port Orange, Florida would capture the checkered flag for PGA Professionals, the 2012 PGA Professional Player of the Year Award. His strength is that he has no weaknesses. Um, he hits it pretty long, he, he hits it solid every time, he's a great putter, never gets rattled, never gets too up, too down, doesn't make mistakes, doesn't really ever shoot a high number. His mastering of the North Florida section events carried over to the 2012 PGA Professional National Championship, where he tied for second. Perry remained in high gear during the winter events at PGA Golf Club in Port St. Lucie, Florida. He comes down here and dominates the events and secures player of the year and wins the money list and wins the scoring title. So that just shows what kind of player he is and what kind of grit and perseverance that he has. A Mississippi State alum, Perry is the first PGA Golf Management University graduate to earn the PGA Professional Player of the Year award. What a tremendous honor and to know especially at Mississippi State, that our students can look at him and, and see what he's accomplished through his career is definitely an inspiration, an ideal for, for all of our students to look at and, and try to strive to, to follow in his steps. That education helped prepare Perry for his first job as a PGA head professional, a position he began in April of 2012 at Crane Lakes Golf and Country Club. We were lucky to have Ron. So uh, he is well known in our community and was known as a great player and we heard from a lot of folks in town that he was the best teacher in the area. You hear that click? It was important to have somebody that was able to oversee all aspects of management, not just playing and teaching, but also oversee the, the management of the facility and management of the day-to-day -day activity. 2012 was, was obviously a, a banner year for me. Financial stability helped me out in a lot of ways and so I knew that you know I, I really I couldn't fail. A surprise send-off party prior to the 2012 PGA Championship speaks to Perry's rock star status at the club. All of our members have just fallen in love with him. It was pretty much a non-stop question when people would come into the shop about how was he playing, did I see him on TV, what time was it airing, and so on. So he has a huge following, I mean, for the PNC as well as any of the other tournaments he plays in. He's the hometown hero. You know, it's obviously great to be able to take that kind of stuff home and show the kids and put it in the archives and, uh, you know, hopefully my wife's proud of me. I'm extremely proud. <laughs> I was proud of him before the award, so he's a good dad. Hi. He's actually reached almost all of his goals by the age of 40, so pretty exciting. He's very family-oriented. He's very courteous. Rod's philosophy is he thinks that uh, good things happen to good people and he works at that. He's our poster child, and we jokingly laugh about that at many of our events, and I, do, I don't mean just tournaments, uh, section meetings. Uh, Rod's always there front and center and uh, preaching the mission of the PGA to his fellow members and uh, supporting all of our programs.